right, so here we are at another location where XR and the Animal Rebellion crew have set up camp here. This is Trafalgar Square. Um, they've been here for a little while now. We moved on from the DEFRA site, but we're meeting at the fountain to be briefed on another action this morning. Let's go. Yeah, look at the police are clearing out all the tents here. Loads of police. There's heaps of police. All right, let's go find the Animal Rebellion team. This is smack bang in the middle of Trafalgar Square, London. It's like a little tent village. I think this is us over here. Either um, so it's stay good to here and defend this site, from, which is over there. Uh, stay here and defend the site, yeah. To continue with the mass because action that's planned, which is to go to Cargill, where corporate officers and uh, do a disruption, um, yeah, to, uh, and take their gear with them. So yeah, you know, and, and undo the tents and bring them with them. Yeah. Or three, go to St James's Park with the tents, where apparently it's a safer location, uh -huh. and then proceed there, with the action uh, if there were time after having made the move. Exactly. If we have a bigger group that the police can move us on, we need people to look after the tents, we need more people participating in actions, we need more people participating in animal rebellion. All right, so we're all making a move to the next uh, location, we're going to do a direct action. Swallowing up the rainforest, swallowing up the earth's resources, so people can have a five minute meal. Animals stabbed in the throat, all the resources are going to this one little morsel of flesh and blood to feed people's desire for steak. Someone's got the right idea. Another one here. Steakhouses. They should be f***ing illegal. Absolutely insane. This will be this is a suicide of the planet and the animals and everyone on it. How do you feel before I know you're a bit nervous or you're okay? I'm okay. Yeah. I've been to see, oh, uh, this is this place. I, I I go every two weeks to a chicken slaughterhouse. Yeah. They own this place. Yeah. So I really hate these people. Oh, okay. So you feel angry I inside? Feel I feel uh, if I'm going to get arrested, this is what I want to get arrested for. Okay. Well, good luck. <laughs> we'll be here to support you. He's committed to helping the world thrive. Links to farmers markets, sustainable nutrition. American privately held global corporation based in Minnesota. Agricultural services, crop and livestock. So I guess we're I guess we're going into up to that floor where the cargo people are to make a statement. at the Carvel London offices to demand change in Cargill's corporation action. As everyone here knows, thousands of acres of Amazon rainforests burned this summer, completely devastating the ecosystems and killing millions of animals without forgetting about the impact this has had on indigenous communities. Currently, 91% of the Amazonian deforestation is due to animal agriculture, as last reports show. 
Cargill and its partner Carvel have been pointed at as the worst company in the world because of their ecocidal work being, as a matter of fact, the main climate change contributor in the entire planet. Basically, they're sold. They're no longer here. Oh, really? Like he's showing us like the email on the phone, and I'm like, okay. Oh well, yeah, I don't really get it. But I think I mean, I don't think we can push things forward without doing this kind of stuff now. You know, you know, we're always out on the streets and we're doing, you know, we're trying to reach the individuals and stuff. What we need to push for as well, though, systematic change. So we need to hit the system from the top and change the people from below and get exactly. them working together somehow. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for coming, no brother. Always a pleasure. Okay, so this is our fourth day of actions done with Animal Rebellion. Uh, they're going to meet and regroup tonight at 6 p.m. And I think there's something tomorrow night that we will be attending. So it's going to be something. Uh, it should be something big, so let's do it. Got a few of us here. <laughs> the rest of the team have arrived. Looks like there's about a hundred people here. Now we've got the troops here. Look out. So now let's take a minute and remember the victims of the industry and everybody else who is suffering because of climate and ecological collapse. Hundreds of police have come out for you. Might actually outnumber the people here. That's how much we've scared them. I, I want to make it clear that this is a sign of our success. My friend, my friend, you will not walk alone. I will, I will walk with you, walk with you, and sing your Yeah, so they've obviously got hundreds of uh, Welsh police there blocking off uh, the fish market. Not much you can do in that situation. If you keep walking past those police, they'll use force if they have to. Made a barricade, made a blockage there, and now we've just uh, made a move. So I'm not really sure what's going to happen now. Not really sure what we can do in this situation or what the activists are going to do in this situation. I'll have to wait and see. Okay, so we just come around the back and there's another barricade of a bunch of police right there. The police are now allowing us to walk to Billingsgate Fish Market and to go right up to the entrance. I don't really know what we're gonna, what's going to happen when we get there. Mm -hmm. I'm very surprised it's happening. That big freezer room is just essentially a morgue for dead animals. They're sea animals, they're still dead animals. And they're carrying around in these foam boxes, but uh, they're gonna be sold to people to eat. They're dragging tons, tons and tons, hundreds of millions of tons of fish out of the oceans. These big trawling nets, destroying everyone and everything in its path. And we will 
a hold in our hearts each and every individual fish and are being sold here today. Let's make history. Any protest outside of Trafalgar Square is in breach of Section 40. All right, so it seems like the police are dispersing the crowd. This uh, happens to be private property, so I'm really unsure of what's going to happen, but I think the police are starting to disperse people. They have the right to arrest whoever they want. Early this morning, Billingsgate Fish Market was blocked off before police stepped in. This morning's target, Billingsgate Fish Market in Poplar. Animal Rebellion want to highlight the damage overfishing and plastic waste is doing to our oceans. The police, though, were expecting them, and when the roads were blocked, they were quick to react. They arrested 28 people. The fishing and agriculture industries worldwide are responsible for about 15% of all carbon, like climate change emissions. Uh, and so we needed to send a message to the government that the government were going to hear that we need to transition to a plant-based food system. 